In the arena of field watches, one brand reigns supreme, and that brand is Hamilton. Having cemented its legend on the battlefields of the early 20th century with pioneering field watches that evolved into its most popular collection with the modern khaki field, all while presenting a definitive point of value in Swiss watchmaking. Yet given the size of this collection and variations within it, it can lead to some confusion on where to start and where to look at. So in this video, what we're going to be doing is looking at everything you should know about the Khaki Field Collection, including its unmatched history, the importance of the design, and then also a breakdown of some of the key models and places that I would recommend to look at maybe when you're first navigating this uh, and trying to figure out maybe what to buy. And before we jump in, if you have not heard, we're gonna be offering up a $5,000 watch shopping spree giveaway to a viewer of the channel. Now, if you wanna participate, this is what you have to do. Head to the link below in the description to our website to fill out the form. On that form, submit the watches you would pick if you were going to be the winner. All the watches that you choose there have to be from links from our website into those open fields. Following your submission, you will then receive an email to your email address where you'll need to verify. Each individual is only eligible for one entry, and this giveaway is going to be available to US participants only. The winner will be announced in late February of 2024 publicly on our social channels, and you will also be contacted from a at teddybaldessar.com email address as well as by phone, so be sure to submit those different information so we can reach out to you. Also, please don't respond to unverified emails. If it looks too good to be true, it definitely is. You'll be getting a message from one of my team members directly. We'll also never ask for your personal banking or credit card information. So if anybody's asking for that, that is not the giveaway winner. So we'll be in touch if you do win, but best of luck to all that participate. So as mentioned, Hamilton's field wash designs are rooted in the brand's relationship with the US military, reaching back to the First and Second World Wars. The collaboration between Hamilton and the US government made a lot of sense given the brand was founded in Pennsylvania in Lancaster, all the way back in 1892, when the US was still a watchmaking force to be reckoned with. In 1914, three years before the US joined World War I, Hamilton began providing pocket watches and so-called trench watches to the US military. These trench watches were essentially modified pocket watches with soldered lug bars, allowing them to be strapped onto the wrist and were a major step in the burgeoning popularity of wrist watches as a whole, but also the field watch in particular. In 1941, as the Second World War raged, Hamilton completely seized its production of watches for civilian consumption, instead concentrating on providing watches to the US military, ultimately producing over a million watches for the war effort. The military issued watches we now recognize as the forerunners of the modern khaki field were made of chrome plated base metals, measured around 34 millimeters in diameter, and used luminous radium paint on their dials for nighttime legibility and housed Hamilton's manual wound 17 jewel calibers. Over the years, a lot of course has changed with Hamilton taking their production gradually to Switzerland during the second half of the 20th century. But part of what's remarkable about the khaki field is how much has remained more or less the same, backed by design language that really has been able to really stand the test of time. So part of what makes the khaki field collection popular is its design, which despite originally being intended for soldiers on the battlefield, works exceptionally in everyday life as a result of it being guided by utilitarian principles. For one, the dial is developed on an effective premise of legibility and contrast, usually with a clean backdrop and bolded Arabic indices paired with straightforward hands and also complete with luminous material for easy nighttime reading. In many cases, or at least the ones that appeal to the conventional norms, you also get secondary 24 hour markings to manage military or international timing standards with the collection also coming with sapphire crystals. Further, the watches also implement hacking seconds or stop seconds when you pull the crown to the farthest position. This feature is obviously loved by enthusiasts nowadays, but it also was one popularized by Hamilton on the battlefields during coordinated infantry and artillery synchronized attacks. Their large crowns also enable easy activation for time setting and hand winding easily, with hand winding being a crucial part of Hamilton's military field watch origins. So with all of this success, now you have this modern khaki field collection that is very hard to navigate. Another thing I wanna specify is with this video, I am looking at the khaki field collection, not the khaki aviation or the khaki navy because we would be here for a long time. And also I'm not going to be looking at every single model to look at. I'm really looking at those key pillars and ones that I would probably recommend as you're navigating this for maybe the first time or just trying to get a little bit deeper into Hamilton. 
To kick us off, we look at a piece that stays closest to the original Hamilton Field DNA while also presenting the most attainable mechanical khaki field with the starting price around $600 with the khaki field mechanical. As the name implies, these are hand winding watches and powered by the H50, a heavily modified version of the ETA 2801-2 that allows for a slower beat frequency of three hertz as opposed to four hertz, which also extends that power reserve out to 80 hours, which is especially nice for a watch that you actually have to hand wind. As the entry point to the collection, the Khaki Field Mechanical is available in both 38 millimeters and 42 millimeter options, as well as several dial colors, strap and bracelet options, comes with faux loom as well as unaged loom options, and even different case finishes and materials, including bronze. Another important note that I will mention about the Khaki Field Mechanical is that they are only rated to 50 meters of water resistance. So if a hand winding watch simply isn't for you and you also appreciate a more contemporary take on this design, this is where the khaki field automatic comes in. The obvious point to start with here is that the movement is going to be automatic winding utilizing the H10 or the C07.611 that takes the ETA 2824 base architecture with a modified gear train to reduce the beat frequency to three hertz and allows an 80 hour power reserve similar to what we saw from the previous manual winding H50. Starting at a roughly $100 premium to the mechanical models, you get a date window, a range of dial colors and styles, 38 and 42 millimeter choices, as well as strap or bracelet options to choose from. Another key differentiator with the automatics compared to the mechanicals is that these will also come with 100 meters of water resistance as opposed to 50. Positioned within the field automatic collection, but also a more elevated price point of around $1,000 to $1,200, depending on what strap and bracelet option you go for, we have the Khaki Field Titanium Automatics. These were released last year and it swaps stainless steel for a titanium case that is also available in both 38 and 42 millimeter diameters, while also having its own dial design and a specific range of dial colors. And I think we have to mention these especially because even more broadly, if we're talking about just titanium in the Swiss watchmaking industry, these kind of are right at that entry point for what you can expect from a Swiss made watch. So if you're looking for a dial design closer to the basic khaki field mechanical, but value automatic calibers, 100 meters of water resistance, and a more information rich display, the khaki field day date auto is a seldom discussed option bolstered by the additional day date functionality while coming in a few dial colors and only being available in a 42 millimeter size. There are also two different dial formats, one with more of a traditional three o'clock day date display and another with a date at six and the day display higher up at the 12 o'clock position. It is powered by the H30, which is Hamilton's day date variant of the H10. The khaki field day date also comes in around a price of $1,000, depending on the strap or bracelet option. And should you find the traditional day date display a bit too hard to read, you might be an excellent candidate for the khaki field king. This is essentially a khaki field automatic in terms of its dial design, but with important additions of a larger day and date function at 12 and a completely different case augmented by prominent crown guards, a rarity for the khaki field family. Only available with a 40 millimeter case for now, the king can be had with a few different dial colors and various leather straps and bracelet variants while being priced around $700 to $800 in most cases while offering 50 meters of water resistance. As a fun side point as well, the watch was worn by Hugh Laurie in the show House. While it's also powered by the automatic caliber, the Khaki Field Murph doesn't neatly fit into the Khaki Field Auto framework. Instead, leaning on an interesting connection to film as well as more refined looks that combine to present one of the most intriguing arguments in the entire range. Initially available in a 42 millimeter case, the Murph gets its name and looks from a prop made watch for Christopher Nolan's 2014 film Interstellar where the watch is not only shown on screen, but also plays an important part of the plot. With the success of the film, it was only a matter of time before the Murph was officially released to the public, and that day came in 2019. The production watch paid reverence to its on-screen inspiration with its cathedral handset and with the Eureka being displayed on the second hand in Morse code. Now, while the original Murph was a big hit, it is a larger watch on the wrist, making the debut of the 38 millimeter option late last year, a noteworthy release for anyone with a smaller wrist that appreciates the Murph's backstory and more elegant aesthetics. Again, being powered by the H10, the Murph comes in at $900 to $1,000, depending on the case size, and serves as an important representation of Hamilton's use in film, being seen in nearly 500 films in their storied history. Our next watch on this list is another elevated automatic khaki field to consider, and is actually brand new for this collection with the Khaki Field Expedition. 
This comes in with a cleaner non-date dial format compared to many khaki fields, while also including a bi-directional rotating bezel with compass markings to allow for a measure of wayfinding capability should you find yourself maybe lost in the woods. I know that's probably not gonna happen for most of us, but it's nice to know that it could work if you needed it. Also coming in two case sizes, 37 millimeters and 41 millimeters in this instance, the Expedition is a bit of an outlier in terms of its visual design that might present an intriguing place to look for anyone looking for an outdoorsy sports watch from Switzerland. In similar fashion, the watch is powered by the H10, is capable of 100 meters of water resistance, and is priced in the vicinity of $1,000 and probably is a framework I could see the brand building on in the future with different bezel styles. But all right, guys, that's my video here today looking at the Khaki Field collection. This is a collection that I spent a lot of time with. I wear several different Khaki Fields here and there. They're a brand that I really love too. I find myself going to Lancaster, Pennsylvania quite often uh, for a variety of reasons. So it still is a hotbed for watchmaking and just the US roots, the field watch design, it's just got something that just resonates with me deeply. And I know the same could probably be said for many of you as well. If you enjoyed the video and you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell icon. Really do appreciate that. Also check out Teddy Ball Baldessar.com, full authorized dealer of 30 brands, including Hamilton, quick and fast fulfillment, dedicated customer support, and a full factory warranty for all the products that we offer. Also, how we're able to fund all of our productions is through selling watches on our site. So if you are in the market for a watch, we'd love to have your business. It allows us to keep doing what we're doing here. And we love what we do. But guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Be well, and I'll see you all very soon.